Are you a highly sensitive person? Here's how to tell. It's okay, I'm here for you. I will never abandon you. I'm here. This is amazing. This is the best day ever. This is terrible. This is the worst day ever. It's vital to know if you have this trait because it can greatly affect your understanding of yourself and how you navigate the world. In fact, even though 15 to 20% of the world's population shares this trait, most people don't even know what it is and that they have it. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Abby, and my goal is to help you discover you through your personality. Subscribe for new videos every Thursday. So the big question, are you a highly sensitive person or an HSP, and what does that mean for your life? I'm gonna walk you through a checklist of traits that might indicate that you have sensory processing sensitivity. To take the free test and learn more about HSP, check out Elaine Aaron, she's a psychologist. She started studying HSP back in the 90s, and I will link her books and her resources in the description down below. Okay. So you may be an HSP if you can't watch super violent shows like Breaking Bad or True Detective or Game of Thrones or any of those like super violent shows because it makes you emotionally distressed, like it physically affects you. You may be an HSP if you feel emotion super intensely. So for example, your highs are really high. I mean, just on top of the world and your lows are dark and dreary and so, so difficult. Another sign that you might be a highly sensitive person is if overwhelm is your middle name. And I'm not talking about normal overwhelm, like you had a really busy day at work and you've got like all these things to do. No, I'm talking about things like bright lights, loud noises, like a siren, a door slamming, that itchy sweater that, that makes you insane because it just feels like you're claustrophobic inside of it, that kind of overwhelm. The thing that I find super interesting about highly sensitive people is that they can walk into a room and know immediately like who needs a hug, who's had the worst day of their life and needs to be left alone, and who is having a crush on that person from, like they can see like all the, the lines like between all of the people. This is something I think that Enneagram type twos also share. So if you are a two and an HSP, I'm gonna send you some bath bombs um, <laughs> so that you can have a relaxing bath or something. You probably need it. I just find that trait really interesting about HSPs. And if you do that, then I might look at all the other traits and say, huh, is this me? Another thing you might do is that you try to find pockets of peace throughout the day. Like you might get overwhelmed at work, so you'll go to the bathroom just to have that like quiet space or you'll go to your car, you'll sit in your car and listen to music. You find little ways to retreat and have alone time, whereas other people seem not to need that as much. You may find more pleasure than most in a painting, a whiff of perfume or a freshly baked croissant. You notice things more than other people seem to. You may be an HSP if you're introverted or if you're extroverted, and I'm saying that because there is a typical stereotype that highly sensitive people are really timid and withdrawn. You can be that way, but it's not an indicator of whether or not you have this trait. If you're still watching this video, odds are you are a highly sensitive person because I think everyone else would have clicked off by now. But what do you do with this knowledge? Well, I wanna encourage you to look at this trait as a strength. I think in our Eurocentric, success, money-driven world, um, sensitivity isn't looked at as an asset, but it should be. You have the superhuman ability to empathize with others and understand what people need. You see beauty and nuance and melancholy in a world where some people only see to-do lists and monotony. You understand the value of peace and quiet, that rest is just as important, if not more so, as work. You protect your mind by guarding what images, what words come into it. You are treating your body like it is a sacred temple because it is. And I think that all of these traits should be valued and celebrated. So take this as your encouragement from me to you today. Your sensitivity, your ability to see nuance, the way that you see the world is a gift to yourself and to others. If you wanna watch more videos about mental health, you can click right here. If you wanna watch what YouTube thinks you'll like, you can click here. Thanks to these beautiful patrons for supporting the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.